Springfield's real estate market stepped out of Eugene's shadow in 2017. Last year saw the most expensive single property sale in Lane County history. A review of the county's largest real estate deals shows the $107.5 million sale of the shops at Gateway to Los Angeles investors. The mall sale was far from the only large Springfield transaction last year. The county's second and third largest sales were also in Springfield the sale of the 295-unit Brentwood Estates Apartments, for $40.5 million and the $21.5 million sale of the Briarwood Retirement and Assisted Living Community. In all, nine of the region's 20 largest deals last year were in Lane County's second-largest city, up from just two of the top 20 in 2015 and 2016. But the uptick in Springfield activity may have said nearly as much about Eugene's market, some local realtors say. Demand is just as strong, but there were a lack of opportunities in Eugene for investors last year, said Jeff Elder, a broker with Eugene commercial real estate firm Evans, Elder, Brown Subit. They would have if they could have. The sales data, compiled by Lane Council of Governments, doesn't include deals where properties were exchanged, rather than sold, or where sale prices weren't publicly disclosed. The apartment market saw a drop-off in large sales last year after a tidal wave of investment activity the year before. Eight Lane County apartment complexes, all of them in Eugene, sold for $12 million or more in 2016. But the Brentwood Estates sale was the only such transaction last year. After the flurry of sales in 2016, an increasingly tight supply of apartments and rising rents may have investors holding on to properties to recoup those higher rent payments, instead of selling them, said Bob Nelson, a Eugene real estate broker specializing in apartments. Rents have increased significantly, so all of a sudden investors' returns are increasing the longer they hold them. They're thinking, geez, I'm getting an extra percentage return without doing anything, Nelson said. Other big deals the shops at Gateway, Brentwood Estates and Briarwood deals were the only Lane County sales valued at $20 million or more last year. In 2016, eight such deals were recorded. Six of them were Eugene Apartments. But the 2017 list reflects a more diverse collection of deals. Three of the top 20 deals were for manufacturing plants, including the fourth and fifth most expensive overall the $13.4 million purchase of the former Hynux computer chip plant in West Eugene by manufacturing giant Corning, Inc. and Rears Manufacturing's $13 million purchase of the Coburg North Industrial Park building it had previously leased. We did see a little more activity in industrial last year, said Clayton Walker, principal broker of real estate firm CW. Walker Associates. The 1.2 million square foot former Hynix plant is Lane County's largest industrial property, while the 320,000 square foot Rears manufacturing plant is among the largest. But Walker noted the economic upswing of recent years has spurred developers to build industrial buildings in Eugene and Springfield. The trend should bode well for future sales activity if the larger economy can keep its momentum, he said. The Hynix plant might have been the biggest, but we saw some new industrial construction, which in my world was a big deal. That shows there's nothing available to buy, Lease Walker said. Several medical and retail properties cracked the top 20 deals of 2017. Brookdale Senior Living, the nation's largest retirement, assisted living and memory care provider, jumped into the Lane County market with purchases of two Springfield independent and senior living facilities and one in Eugene. The Tennessee firm also bought a Springfield Memory Care Center for Alzheimer's and dementia patients. Two medical clinic buildings sold, including the Neurospine Institute building on Centennial Loop in Eugene, which Southern California investors bought for $11.4 million. Future of malls with more than 800,000 square feet of space, the shops at Gateway is the focal point of Springfield's retail scene. Its 2017 purchase by Los Angeles-based Balboa Retail Partners came after its previous owner, New York-based Rouse Properties, poured $45 million into a massive renovation of the former Gateway Mall, adding new stores and restaurants and changing its configuration to give more tenants exterior storefronts. Tying the sale of the shops at Gateway to the health of the larger local retail market is difficult, Walker said, because malls face numerous long-term headwinds such as the closures of large department store chains and the migration of consumer product sales to online retailers, such as Amazon.
Last week, Sears, one of the mall's original anchor tenants, announced that it would close its store on the north end of the complex in March or April. Gateway's sale last March coincided with brisk retail sales and falling unemployment rates locally and nationwide, noted Elder, with Evans, Elder, Brown, Subit. In that way, the sale could reflect growing confidence in Lane County as a hub for investment. There are just a tremendous amount of local businesses that are successful and wanting to either acquire or create new opportunities just to run their own businesses. Elder said, I think the whole Northwest, it's an opportunity. We're seeing a lot of outside money come in, and local money wanting to stay. Follow Elon Glucklick on Twitter at eglucklick. Email elon.glucklick at registerguard.com. More business articles. Top 20 real estate deals of 2017 1. $107.5 million rouse properties, of New York, sold the shops at Gateway and Springfield to Los Angeles-based Balboa Retail Partners. 2. $40.5 million Brentwood Estates, LLC, of Springfield, sold the Brentwood Estates apartment complex in Springfield to Seattle-based Avenue 5 Residential. $3.21.5 million HCP, Inc., of Irvin, Kaloff, sold the Briarwood Retirement and Assisted Living Community in Springfield to Brentwood, Tennessee. Based Brookdale Senior Living. $4.13.4 million of Argo Technologies Wireless Manufacturing, Inc., of Singapore, sold the former Hynix computer chip plant in Eugene to New York based Corning, Inc. $5.13 million Steve Lee, of Eugene, sold a Coburg North Industrial Park building to Coburg-based Rears Manufacturing. $6.12.1 million HCP, Inc., of Irvin, Kaloff, sold the Alpine Court Memory Care Facility in Eugene to Brentwood, Tennessee. Based Brookdale Senior Living. $7.11.4 million Eugene ASC Property Limited Partnership, of Eugene, sold the Neurospine Institute building in Eugene to Santa Barbara, Calif. based 417 Santa Barbara Street, Investments LP. $8.10.9 million Shepherd Investment Group, of Coburg, sold the Evergreen Townhouses Duplex Development in Springfield to Seattle-based Avenue 5 Residential. $9.10.3 million Mountain Trust Limited Partnership, of Coburg, sold the Montaloma Park Manufactured Home Community in Springfield to Irvin, Calif. based Investment Property Group. $10.6.7 million Stephen Kramer, of Springfield, sold multiple residential properties in Lane County to Joshua Eckstein, of Cresswell. $11.6.4 million HCP, Inc., of Irvin, Kaloff, sold the Alpine Springs Assisted Living Center in Eugene to Brentwood, Tennessee. Based Brookdale Senior Living. $12.5.6 million Fifth Street. Project, LLC, to Eugene, sold the townhouses at Fifth Street Apartment Complex in Springfield to Coronado, Kaloff. Based McKee Properties. $13.5.4 million Gerald and Vicky Knutson, of Eugene, sold the Meadows Apartment Complex in Eugene to Portland-based Income Property Management Co. and Lake Oswego-based TP, LLC. $14.5.3 million Karen Merwin, Alice Smith, Linda Tricky, William Greenhut, Francis Klein, Ryan McKillop and Chad McKillop sold the street. Vincent de Paul Administration Office in Eugene to Street. Vincent de Paul Society of Lane County. 15. $5.1 million Triton Properties, LLC, to Eugene, sold a Crescent Avenue retail building in Eugene to Coburg-based Mount Crescent, LLC. $16.4.8 million HCP, Inc., of Irvin, Kaloff, sold the Woodside Retirement and Assisted Living Community in Springfield to Brentwood, Tennessee. Based Brookdale Senior Living. $17.3.5 million Rosen Aviation, of Eugene, sold its industrial property in Eugene to Catherine Ritchie, of Eugene. $18.3.5 million Thomas Novick, of Eaton Park, FLA, sold the Hosanna Apartments Complex in Springfield to Roger Goldingay and Carol Otis, of Portland. $19.3.4 million Stephen Offner, of Eugene, sold a Country Club Road Office building in Eugene to Matthew and Monica Neal, of Eugene. $20.2.8 million Harjanda Singh and Rani Court of Springfield, sold a gas station and convenience store in Springfield to Seon Huan Kim and Ellen Choi of Eugene.